song uh, was on Desolation Boulevard album, and it was uh, that's one of my favorite albums. I actually redid um, "Set Me Free" as a bonus track on on one of my uh, last records. It's so funny. After we recorded it, the song is so big. It's almost like you know, it's almost like Motley's "Kickstart My Heart." Man, it's just this driving four on the floor, pounding guitars and everything like that. And Vince, you know, she got you know, I mean, just it's it's just really driving. We listened to we listened to our our, um, our rough mix of it, and then he said, well, "Let's go back and listen to the original." And we listened to the original and went, "Wow!" Just so another one of those things uh, reminds me of high school and, and early Motley Crue. This is an uh, album that all of us in Motley Crue listened to a lot and really looked up to the suite a lot. But you you have these uh, you have memories of what the song sounded like, and then we cut it, and we go back and listen to the original next to ours, and it's like. Damn, son, we kicked ass on this song. You know what I mean? It felt really. That's that, that's one of the real real driving tunes on the record. I remember this song brings me back to when I was uh, surfing in high school, and uh, we didn't live anywhere near the beach. And me and my friend John would uh, we'd throw the uh, surfboards on the back of my '54 Chevy pickup and put in the eight track of rocks and just play it all the way to the beach and all the way back and uh, it really brings me back to that time in my life and uh, it was one of those just heavily aggressive, greatly melodic songs. You know, the, the, that was one of those songs that had the, uh, had the, had the label kind of scratching their heads going, really? You gonna do that one? I said, trust me man, wait till Vince rips into this thing, man. You can totally hear his voice and when they heard it, you know, the word came back, it was like, why, right, now we see what you were saying. Vince could just tear this thing up, which he did. Yeah, Aerosmith, I think, influenced everybody. You know, it was, uh, you know, the way uh, the way Stephen sings is, is pretty unique, and, and uh, nobody can really sing like him, but you can try. You know? We recorded the song years and years and years ago, and I thought it was one of the, the best ballads that uh, that we 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 done. But uh, it got voted out for another ballad. I can't remember which one. And, and I, uh, I kept it, and I, I told Nikki, I go, you know, one day I want to redo this song. It's just amazing. So I've, uh, I had it in my computer this whole time, and so okay, time to redo it. Sometimes things don't.